all right so let's get started with our pattern so we are going to be using three patterns for this to make this um, baby carrier so this the first one which is the main body of the carrier is the measurement is um, the length is 17 inch 17 inches 17 inches 17 inches by 15 inches so the length is 17 inches from here to here is 17 inches while from here to here is 15 inches so when you have this what's your pattern that you fold it into two this way you can see how it is fold it make sure it's folded into two then we'll get the middle part of the width remember this is the width and this is the length after folding it together this way you can see what we have here so this width now find the middle part so the middle part of this width is um, 7.5 since it's 15 inches remember our width is 15 inches then we have 7.5 inches you can see so then from this um from this 7.5 you're going to measure six inches downward six inches downward let me use my marker so that you will see it clearly so we're going to measure six inches downward you can see so this is my six inches then i'm going to rule the line you know to make it more prominent so you can see so i have six inches here so from here to here is six inches. Notes are folded it into two. I want you to get it right. Now, at this point, this edge, I'm going to measure one inch up, one inch up, and one inch to the side. As if I want to make a cube, then I'm going to make the line prominent. You can see what we have. So this is one inch, then this place two is one inch. You can see one inch of one inch to the side. Can you see? Then I'm going to come to this side, to this side. Then I'm going to mark 2.5 inches to this side. Remember how I turned it. This is the way I turn this place to mark my one one inches i mean one 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 inch i mean so here i just turn it like this then i mark 2.5 inches 2.5 inch then i have my 2.5 inches then upwardly i'm going to measure one inch you can see one inch and then i'm going to connect it together so I'm going to connect it together. I'm going to connect this 2.5 and this 1 inch together. I hope you are getting and following me. You can see. And then I'm going to connect this um, 6 inches to this 1 inch. So I'm just going to use my... If you have a curve ruler, you can use it. If you don't have curve ruler, just mark line like that and just connect it together. Then I'm going to do the same thing to this side. I'm going to connect it to this edge. You can see the shape that we have here. You can see what we have now. You can see. And then I want this place to have a kind of um, design. So, so I'm just going to place my tape rule. I'm going to slant my tape rule this way. Then I'm going to measure two inches. So I have two inches here. You can see. Then I'm going to rule the line. I'm going to join it together with this one inch. You can see what we have here. Then I'm going to come to this point, this edge. And I'm going to mark four inches downward this way four inches so i have from here to here 
I have four inches. You can see. Then from this four inches, I'm going to connect it to this to these two inches like this you can see what i have can you see what i have now can you see what i have you can just pause the video and watch it again for you to understand the pattern so this is our pattern a so this is pattern a we are going to be using um four i mean three patterns so this is pattern a then I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to trace it out from here, here, here. Then I'm going to come this way, come here, and come in. So let me just trace it out for you to see. So make sure the two sides are well aligned. So this is how her pattern looks like. So this is our pattern B and our pattern B. This is uh the carrier bed. It's the bed. So this is the bed. So the measurement I'm using is five inches. The width is five inches and the length is twenty six inches. Twenty six inches. So the width is five inches then the length is 22 inches i mean 26 inches 26 inches now this is what i'm going to do to this one because we we can't leave it this way we want it to have a kind of a nice um, shape so i'm going to come to this edge and i'm going to measure 1.5 1.5 you can see upwardly this way I'll measure 1.5. So I have 1.5 here. And to this side, I have 5 inches. 5 inches. So you can see. So here, from here to here, I have 1.5. And from here to here, I have 5 inches. So you can see. So I'm going to connect the two together this way. So that is what we have. So I want this, I want the, the kind of shape here to reflect here also. So I'm going to be folding it into two. Also, I want this place to have a kind of uh, coffee shape, not sharp. You can see. So that is what I have. Then I'm going to fold it into two. I'll just fold it into two like this for me to get the same cuts for the two for the two sides so i'm going to take my scissors when you are working with some um, paper you need to have paper scissors if not all your scissors will just become blunt paper have a way of blunting scissors so this is my paper scissors that I'm using. So I'm just going to cut it out this way. So this is my bed. And this become our pattern B. So this is our pattern B, which is our bed. So I'm going to keep it one side and um, this will be our undo. This is our undo. So, and the measurement I'm working with is 20 inches in length by 4 inches in width. So, I have it cut out this way. So, the length of your uh, undo depends on what you want. You know, if you are big, if you are making it for mother that is big, that's bigger size, you need to increase to like 25 inches. You can still make the width the same, but the length varies. This is the only one that you need to alter from this measurement. So even if you are working with um, a bigger size person, you can still use the same um, 
body of this pattern to make it but the belt i mean the handle have to the uh, the length have to you know increase so i have my pattern c so this is c so this is pattern c so so i have the cut out here i have the cut out here so this is the main body this is the main body so i have two pieces for this you can see two pieces and also i cut out a uh, wording two pieces wording so for this you can just decide to cut one piece for one piece wording then foam it all depends on what you want it's just to give it stability this the wording is to make it more stronger and also if you are using foam it's for comfort but the person i'm making this for want uh, wording does not want foam so you can decide to make one side wording and one side foam so you get that so for this i'm using the two the two side to be wording so i have this cut out then for my undo i have it here you say you know i told you i'm cutting it on fold so you can see it's actually on fold i got it out on fold you can see this is how it is on fold this place is you can see how it is so if you open it up you have like a one piece one piece this way so when i'm stitching i'm just stitching it straight so i cut out two pieces for this two pieces you can see and i've already cut out um the wording too so if you are using foam that means that if you are cutting it on foam this way this side will be wording and this side will be foam it all depends on what you want and how you want it so you do the same thing to the two sides also this one too I cut it on four. So I'm cutting one piece for this, not two pieces. Note that I'm cutting just one piece for this on four. This that is the bed. So this is going to be one piece. You can see I cut it out on four too. So if you are using foam also, this just the same thing. You're using, you're going to cut um this side is going to be foam, and this side just going to be wording you know depending on what you want if you still want to follow this my method go ahead and do that you're still going to have your um very strong and foamy um uh carrier so so that's that about the cutting then for what you are still going to be using the accessories i have my belt here so for this you're going to need um, a more bigger belt you can see this is more wider this is about um half um two inch no 1.5 so 1.5 in width of this so you can see then i will still need this smaller one so you are going to need one inch belt and uh, 1.5 inch belt then i have my connector you have need a big one big connector and two uh smaller connector as you can see two smaller connectors and one big so so let us forget i'm going to be showing you this so i'm going to be measuring four inches four inches in length and four inches in width four inches length and also width so I'm going to cut four pieces of this, four pieces of this. That's what I'm going to be cutting half. Four pieces. So now this is a square four inches by four inches. Then this place. So here, I'm going to come in by one inch. One inch from here and also one inch from here. 
you can see then i'm going to connect it down here i'm going to connect it this way i'm just going to slant my hand to get to this point of four inches then i'm just going to trace it out So I have four pieces. You are going to be cutting four pieces out. Then you are not going to cut four pieces of wording. You are just going to cut two pieces of wording. So we have it here this way. So you are going to see what we are going to use it. It's going to be around our um, connector at the uh, belly part. So this is what we have. So it's time to stitch it together. Okay, so I'm done stitching it. I've stitched it round this way, this way. So I left this open space. It's about five inches. It's about five inches. Then this undo. You can see I left this place. This undo. This is where the undo will enter. So I left this place to open. So you see, I'll stitch it. So what I'm going to do now is to use this place to turn it inside out. And also, this is the undo. I'll stitch it, I'll stitch it round, you can see. So this place, I'm going to leave this place. And this place, I'm just going to do it like this. Fold it this way, you can see. And I'm going to stitch it. The size of the needle I'm using is um, 20. Size 20, that's the size. So I'm going to turn it inside out. I'm going to turn it inside out. So you can see the belt too. I've uh, stitched it and you can see, I've stitched this place. So I'm going to use this uh, side too, to turn it inside out. See, this is the belt. This is the main body. And um, this is the bell, this um the handle, these are the handles. So what I'm going to do to this handle now is that I'm going to stitch this side, you know, to bring it together. So I'm just going to, to stitch it this way. So for this, you can just make any design. Okay, so you can see I've made just like mark. I'm going to stitch this place round. Just to hold this part and the other part together. So I'm just going to go ahead and stitch it. So here, this is the undo. So I'm going to put this inside here. And that is why it is important for you to open this place. You don't have to stitch it when you are stitching it round. So, so you can see I'm done stitching it to it. So this is what we have now. That's it. Two ants. Remember this um, small pieces that I cut out? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to place it this way. You can see. I mean, let the right side come up this way. So, the right side facing each other like this. So, I'm going to stitch it round and I'm going to turn it. And see, I've stitched the two. This is the two. I have it here. Okay. 
done, I've stitched this side. I stitch it on it and then I stitch this side too. So you can see this is the connector here. You can see? So it's this side that I connected to 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 it. So you can see how it is. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this into two. Just fold it into two like this. Just to get the middle part. And then this is our middle. So I've already marked it with my chalk. Make sure it's, uh, it's at the middle so that it will be the same with this place. And then this wider part, remember, I connected it to this um, multiple part. Then I'm going to place it this way, making sure it's also at the middle. This one, this one is also folded at the middle. Then I'm going to place it this way and I'm going to stitch. You can see. So I'm going to take it in. Just take it in, take it in. Then I'm going to stitch it like this. I'm going to do the second uh, side too. If you like, you can do yours like this so that this part will be showing. But I think it's more neater. If you place it this way, you get. Remember, this is the inner part, and this is the outer part. This side is the inner part, and that other side is the inner outer part. So, I'm going to start stitching now. I'm just going to stitch it round, round. All right. So I've connected it. This side, you can see. This is the undo, and I've connected the rope here can see how it is it's very simple it's just to connect the rope the length of this rope is 15 inches 15 inches also this one is 15 inches by 15 inches. so i use it so this one is adjustable at least this is where you can adjust you can see i just inserted it inside this uh, connector and i stitch it here so this one will just be like this you can see i just put it it's very simple to connect so i connected this side also so you can see we have the two handles connected so this is where you adjust it so then the size of this rope depends on and uh, the size of the person that will use it so if you want it the rope to be more longer you can increase it and if you want it shorter, you can just do as you desire. So that's that. So the next thing to do is to pull the bed. So to pull the bed. So this opening part, I have um, closed it, stitch it together. Then this is the middle part. Find the middle part of this one. So get the middle part. And this is the middle part. And also, this is the middle part of this um, down part. You can see. So, this is where our bed will be. Now, I'm just going to place it. So, you can see, I just stitch this one at the middle. So, you can decide to stitch it straight or you can just decide to leave it like that. So, I'm going to place it this way. Making sure and the, the middle part is connected to it you can see and i'm going to just stitch it down so so allow it to move to the top here see where this line starts from so that is where i'm going to start so i'll just go ahead and stitch So this is where we are now. You know we've attached these ones. So the, the beds. So the measurement for this rope. You know this is the 1.5 inch rope. The measurement for this one is 30 inches. Because I'm going to be folding it into to you know. We are carrying a baby. So we want it to be more stronger. So this is 30 inches. So this is the connector here. 
so i'm just going to attach it this way i'm going to put it this way flip it through you can see how it is then i'm going to place it here you can see and i'm going to stitch it so it's going to be like this so it's going to be in two make sure you bond these edges if not it will just be ripping off so just use uh just use lighter or matches like this and you are sure it is secure so i'm going to place it this way we are stitching this make sure you are stitching it well stitch it four corners plant it make sure it's well stitched All right, so this is how our baby carrier is looking after stitching it, you can see. So I just went ahead and designed this front part. You can design it anywhere you want it, or you just leave it that way with this um, beautiful um, design. So this is how it is. This is the front part, you can see. And this is the back part. You can see how it looks like. So this is how to attach it. This is one side. So this part, this part, this is where this is. In case you you mix it when I was um, fixing it during the stitching part. So it's very simple. It's just for you to sew the rope to it and just connect this. This thing, you can even remove it. So, and it's adjustable. This is where you can adjust, um, adjust it. So then... I went ahead also to double stitch this. You know, we are carrying a baby now, so we don't want anything or we don't want to take chances. <laughs> so I doubled it and I made sure I stitch it very well. You can see I stitch it like four times. So this is it. So this one will go here. And this is where the hand is going into this part. You can see. So, you know, when I was uh, stitching it, I said I measured 15 inches. So, I just doubled it. So, for now, it's, it's like uh, 5 inches. Um, 5 inches. Because I removed 5 inches from it, making it 10. So, it was long. So, I needed it to be more shorter. So, now the measurement for this, this part, this part, um, this one that is connected to this is... Of uh, 10 inches so you fold it into two then you have five inches you can see so this is it you can leave this one for 15 inches or or 10 inches as the case may be since this place is just the adjusting part so this is it this is how you connect it and also i reduce this to you know i said i use um, 30 inches for this so i reduce this to i reduce it so all together the measurement I, I use is just 18 inches so i folded this into two you can see so i have eight inches in length because it was too long so i have to reduce it so you just work with the length that um uh, that you have so you don't have to you know work with this particular measurement it just depends on how big the person is as i've said before also i'm just going to connect it this way this way the other side so now i have this part connected and this is where so this part i didn't show you when i was stitching it but this part is just to connect the two hands together at the back i'm going to show you when in the picture you can see the picture you can see the way the back is just to hold the hand together so that it's not just the you know going up and down also, you can even uh, tie this part. You can tie this part. Just to hold it together and you won't have to stress yourself. You can see, you just have this kind of, um, this thing at the back. You can see how it is. Or you can even put two of this. It all depends on what you want. So just um, look for another connector. Just, you know, stitch it and just connect. It's just as simple as A, B, C. I hope 
you understand if you see one more of this kind of videos let me know in the comment section below and uh, i'm going to make it so for my client i just make this beautiful headband for her so that she'll be able to rock it with the hankara so you can see you can see this beautiful airband so anytime she's using it with this hankara she'll just wear it and uh, she will look so pim pim <laughs> so i will see you in my next video make sure you subscribe make sure you share this video if you like it Make sure you like, 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 comment in the comment section below. So I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you.